Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. If this is your very first time here. So today y'all we are gonna be doing another solo date vlog. When I came out with the first one I got so many comments asking for a series. So a series is what you got. <laughs> I'm about to get dawn up and take myself out to dinner. It is holiday time. So everybody's out here doing their dates and going out and getting cute. And I'm trying to do the same thing too except I'm just gonna be taking myself out instead of someone else. <laughs> Take it, yeah. <laughs> but today's topic is how to reinvent yourself. I'm pretty much gonna be sharing with you guys the things that I have done intentionally to take myself from the old me to the new me. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. And let's hop right into this. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are about to go ahead and get dawned up. As you can see, we set our little, our little mood in the back per usual. But yeah, like I just mentioned in the intro, I have been on a self improvement journey. It has included like self love, self care type of vibes. But I have really been intentional about becoming the best version of Maya. I'm not even going to necessarily say the best version of Maya. I'm going to say what the ideal version <laughs> of Maya looks like in my own definition. One of the reasons why I do solo dates is to get to know myself, figure out who Maya is, who I want to be, what's holding me back, that whole thing. So I feel like this went hand in hand with the idea of going on a solo date. I saw different things about myself, different decisions, the way I moved, the way I talked, just, just different things about myself, the way I looked that I wanted to change. And then of course I was just naturally, you know, becoming more mature and everything like that. But I did realize that there were just some decisions that I was making that I just did not like about myself, okay? I just ain't like it. <laughs> Some issues with self-control, some of the men that I was choosing to date. A lot of things for me that I just didn't like that made me realize that I wanted to reinvent myself in my life. I by no means have it figured out. I just kind of want to share my journey with you guys if anyone else kind of has the same vibe going on with wanting to become better. The very first thing that I feel like helped me to get on that path to reinvent myself was looking at me. Just looking at at the old me versus the new me and being extremely realistic and not sugarcoating this observation of myself. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like before you can decide to make certain changes, you have to figure out what your why is. Why are you making these changes? Because especially if they are drastic changes, them why's gotta be way more important than you feeling uncomfortable. Because that's what's gonna keep you going, you know, as you're trying to become this new person. And while I don't think you always need a reason, I do feel like having a reason Sometimes it's really good to drive that success. By the way, we are doing a holiday look. I know y'all thought a holiday look wasn't gonna hit the channel this year, but you were wrong. <laughs> I feel like getting fancy. I wanna feel really special tonight. It also has been officially two years since I have been single. So that's a little bittersweet for me, not cause I miss him. Child, not cause I miss him. Just because that's what I desire. So, you know. Bittersweet. I kind of took a look at myself and I kind of evaluated what in my life is it that I want to improve? What about my life is it that I don't like? If I were to improve on that or become completely different or the opposite of that, that it would improve me, my daughter's life, my family's life, my career, any of those things or all of those things. So I feel like this could look like anything. This could look like, you know, if you tend to choose the same man over and over, you know, same type of man, why? What is it about you? you that's making this happen besides the fact that these men are all dogs. The underlying factor is you. <laughs> If you have issues with procrastination, which I struggle with weekly, weekly child, that is something I'm still struggling with big time. But if you have those issues, why are we procrastinating? What does the ideal version of Maya do when it comes to procrastination? She don't procrastinate. <laughs> How do I get from point A to point B, you know? It's my aesthetic, like for example, I used to wear a lot of colors or I used to just kind of have more of an edgier style. For me, that was something I just personally wanted to change and my style was slowly changing just like who I was. So the new version of me, she dressed more chic, more classic, um, timeless looks, neutral colors, you know? So that was a thing for me. And then if we wanna get deep with it, <laughs> before I got saved, it was a little smidge easier to 
be a little bit more promiscuous. Ideal version of myself, she was waiting to marriage. That Maya was a strong Christian woman. Also used to curse. That was something that I did not want to start doing. Ideal Maya does not curse. Old Maya was very, oh yes Lord. Old Maya <laughs> was very hung up on complaining about motherhood, you know, kind of still stuck in that woe is me, I'm a mother, my life can't be nearly what I wanted it to be and it affected you know my relationship with my daughter my ability to be a parent and new Maya pours into my daughter I see it as an opportunity and realize it's a positive thing in life and not a negative thing about my life old Maya hid behind baggy clothes when I went out I didn't care too much about how I looked because I'm just was just very insecure in my vision new Maya did not hide behind insecurities I wore things that made me feel comfortable and confident all the time in order to feed into leveled up confidence. So that's kind of just how I looked at it in order to start to map out like who this new Maya was. So after I kind of acknowledged, you know, who I was in the moment and who I wanted to be, I felt like I needed to create goals. So like to set short term goals and long term goals. And what I mean by that actually is daily goals and long term goals. So like what can I do today? <laughs> to change into this ideal version of Maya. What kind of decisions can I make that will get me to be that new version of myself that I have decided for me? And y'all, this could have to do with business. Where is my beauty blender? Okay, sorry, here it is, false alarm. This can also include like business endeavors that have to just be, you know, how you look, your aesthetic, your, you know, personality. It could just include so many different things. And when I'm talking about stuff that you can change like on a daily basis, like I'm talking about a small thing about your makeup. Maybe you decide instead of going out crusty lip today, I'm gonna put on some lip gloss every day. <laughs> I, I'm just joking but you know what I mean like, I'm just giving you some example if you want to stop cursing like I did um you can catch your language when you say it don't just allow it to run off your tongue like that stop yourself and try to be intentional and while something like that might take a while you know you can make daily efforts to try another thing for me was like positive self-talk talking to myself nicer than I usually do. Not saying, oh Maya, you're so clumsy. Maya, you're so dumb. I try to stop doing that. It still seeps through the cracks here and there, but <laughs> a sister is trying, okay? I ain't perfect. And then I kind of look at the things that might take a little bit of uh, some time. You know, things like I want to lose 10 pounds or gain 10 pounds or having like business goals or business efforts to get your small business off of the ground. Small daily efforts can lead you towards the correct, you know, path of becoming that person. That could also have to do with like having a higher self-esteem. Like for me, when it came to like hiding behind like baggy clothes because I had such big insecurities, some of which I do still have now. <laughs> I definitely still have body insecurities and things that my first thought is to hide it instead of embracing it or showing it or getting used to it, whatever. My first thought is, okay, what can I find to cover this up? <laughs> If the reinvented Maya or the first, the idea of myself that I want to come to has more confidence and has a higher self-esteem and less insecurity, I have to make daily efforts to make sure that I'm not hiding those insecurities because hiding it is just going to continue to feed into it. So for me, my daily things that I would do to become a more confident Maya is to purposely wear things that show that or emphasize that insecurity. And I've talked about the forehead insecurity that I used to have which I don't have anymore but I started to wear hairstyles that didn't hide it but once I intentionally stopped doing that I'm not gonna lie y'all it went away I don't feel that way about myself anymore at all because I made those daily or weekly or monthly hairstyle choices intentionally to not hide that part of myself so for me that was my short-term like everyday thing that I did for something that took longer if that makes sense and y'all, we are obviously doing it all the way up tonight. I really just wanted to completely like do a full face, look super glam and just go out and feel myself tonight. Cause it's been so long since I've gotten really dolled up. Usually I'm going like during the day, going to lunch and stuff. But like when it's dinner time, oh yeah, we about to do it <laughs> and do it up.
okay i'm about to go ahead and powder up with my honey translucent powder and add some finishing touches because i feel like i would do all of this for a man <laughs> so why not do it to step out and take myself out so i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my urban decay all nighter before we go into lips and a red lip was calling my name tonight, y'all. Ain't nothing like holiday time and doing a nice bold red lip. So I just decided last minute that I'm gonna do more of a burgundy lip versus a red lip. To me, it's just something about a bold lipstick that just screams confidence and I'm feeling it. And it's holiday time, so it's like perfect. So I am loving. <laughs> the makeup let's get dressed y'all so like i told you guys it was my desire to look really and feel really special today so <laughs> for tonight so um we're going to do a vlog for like a dinner date night type of vibe you know what i'm saying i like it so we are going to be wearing this little combo once i try this dress on you guys will see why i decided to put this silk skirt on top of this because another part of me um reinventing myself i didn't like how much of my body i was okay with showing <laughs> in the old me <laughs> as i started to grow as a person and just as you know my own personal journey i wanted to be a little bit more modest and not show so much and not be too too you know out there still be sexy but not too much this skirt does have a slit all the way up and while i bought it that way and i liked it then that's not the highest my that I envision so um I am throwing this skirt on top so that we can conceal that slit it gives us a little more expensive vibes anyway <laughs> so I absolutely love this together um I think it's really cute it doesn't you can't really tell that this is a dress underneath I was trying to decide if I was gonna keep on the same jewelry that I'm wearing I feel like maybe I'll get rid of I don't know I like the layered jewelry look with this even though there's a lot going on here I low-key want to just vibe out with that for my back today I am wearing my Fendi bag which has the Fendi logo on it but it does come with a strap so what I usually do like for something like this going to dinner this this is more casual i don't want to have the chain for dinner so i just slide the chain off and the way that you unbuckle it because i had somebody ask me that it has a little buckle on it like this that this you can actually pull open take your nail through this and just slide it through i am going to put the handle right on the back and then you have a top handle more dressy to go with the vibes you know what i'm saying <laughs> for fragrance today i'm gonna go with my myth perfume from Ellis Brooklyn and y'all know me I like to just hit all the spots because um this stuff be expensive you heard me <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep on my studs I love the vibe with you know the more classier thing going on the studs are perfect for that especially since the lip is doing a lot we got on eyeshadow and stuff today I like to really balance it out I always love to have on my watch regardless of the occasion so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my watch on as well Tonight, I think I want to wear my Tom Ford Padlock Heels. I think these are the vibe <laughs> for the night, for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and drench myself in my Fenty um, Skin Body Cream. And especially when I'm wearing shoes that are like really squeezing my toes, I wanna make sure that I ain't getting ashy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's just be realistic, child. And when my legs are out, I like them to be, you know, glistening, and this does the job for that too. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my shoes. Now I need to pack my bag with everything that I need. I definitely need my wallet, of course. <laughs> I got my hand sanitizer um my lip stick that I'm wearing tonight and then I always like to keep my Fenty compact powder foundation because it also has a mirror in it so it's a foundation touch up and a mirror to make sure I ain't got none in my nose um <laughs> I got my hand lotion then I also have my handy dandy taser to make sure I'm safe so before I finish off and put on my jacket, this is the whole fit. I am loving it. I think it looks really, really cute, sexy, you know, grown woman vibes. This is actually the first time that I've actually gotten dolled up like this to go out to dinner dinner instead of like a lunch or a brunch type of vibe. So I am, I'm feeling it. <laughs> and it feels good to actually do all this stuff to go out by myself. This is the Maya that I envision, you know, like this is the version of me that I want to be. And while I'm not completely that person yet, I definitely have made improvements and I feel like I am intentionally becoming her by doing things like this, putting myself together like this, cause this is my, you know, my version, my idea of a grown woman. 
of all my stuff. So it's time to go. Let's go ahead and grab a jacket first. So this is the coat that I'm wearing with this. It's all black. This is from Fashion Nova. I didn't want anything too, too heavy because it is about 40 degrees outside, but I feel like this was perfect. I probably won't even tie it because it's messing up the vibe. I like it kind of open and flowy. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Let's go. We just got here, we're in the bathroom, nobody's in here, so I'm just gonna use the opportunity to talk to y'all. <laughs> but the last thing that I wanted to cover um, on this topic is that after you have looked at who you used to be and who you are now, and then after you've looked at your goals, it's time to take action. And for me, that is the hard part, sis, because there are still some things that I struggle with that I take action with daily, but I also, just in general, I struggle, I just struggle with it. And I'm talking about stuff that has taken years, sis, years, okay? I would definitely be lying if I said that it was easy to break old habits. Um, nobody just naturally becomes, I feel, the person that they wanna be, especially when that new person has all these different new habits, all these, you know, different things about yourself that's completely opposite of what you used to be. It's not gonna happen overnight, and it's not gonna just happen naturally. Naturally? <laughs> We procrastinate. Naturally, we do what's comfortable, you know? Like, you gotta step outside of your comfort zone to make a change. It's literally about just being intentional about every single thing that you are doing in your life, and then eventually it will become habit. Something else that I still deal with now is like creating a morning routine for myself. Like, I wanna be that girl that gets up at five, six o'clock in the morning, works out, you know, gets started on my day early. Like, that's the chick I wanna be. I ain't made it there yet, <laughs> and that's okay. But I do still make sure that I'm being intentional about trying to do that on a daily basis. Some days it doesn't happen and I sleep until noon. <laughs> Some days it does happen and those are my most productive days. I gotta remember how I feel on those days because I, that makes me feel the best. I also still struggle with eating healthy. That's a big thing for me. Oh my God, health and food, child. That has been a years long struggle for me, still going. But the thing is, I'm constantly trying to get better. You can consistently reinvent yourself. You don't have to stay the same. There's always something that we can improve, and that's how I feel about me and what I wanted to share with this video. It's important to realize that some things will take like a season of improvement to actually change completely, and some things will take years, and that's okay. And I am in both of those seasons where something's only taking a short season, a week, a month, and then I got stuff that's taking forever to change. <laughs> But it's super, super important to have a why, a reason that you're doing these things so that you can continue to make the changes that you want. For me, my whys are everything. Because I know that the more positive changes I make for my own life, it not only affects my life, my daily life, my business, you, my content, you guys, but it also affects my daughter. I want to be a more positive role model for her looking up to as the type of woman to become. I personally would not be happy if Amira became old Maya, you know? So I want to improve not only my life, but my child's life and those around me as well. I feel like it's really important for it not to be for a man, not for your friends, not for a boss, not someone you're trying to impress, not to please your family. It's all about reinventing yourself because of you and how that's gonna affect you in your life and the people you love. Okay, so real quick, I actually was gonna go ahead and finish the vlog. Um, I actually filmed a whole outro in the bathroom, but let's just, let's just chat for a second before I drive off. <laughs> I just wanna throw this part in there because there definitely was a lot of you know, couples in there, um, people celebrating anniversaries or, you know, just out for the holidays all dolled up. I was literally the only person in there by myself. And you know what? It was really, really empowering. This is my very first time, like I said, going out for dinner alone, like in a dinner atmosphere, like a dress up black tie type of dinner atmosphere. And it felt so good. Like I had my music blasting, I was minding my business, I was relaxing, I was just vibing, right? And it was very empowering to know that I care about myself enough and I love myself enough to still do the makeup, to put on an all black fit, you know, my heels and 
go out and enjoy life regardless of if I have a partner or not. I felt like I was the stuff sitting in there by myself, minding my business, eating my lobster, you know? <laughs> and guess it, it feels lonely here and there and I get that. I'm so aware of that. I feel that sometimes, but child, I felt so empowered tonight. And I just wanted to jump on here and let you guys know. A lot of you guys have been doing solo days based on my first video. And I'm so, so happy to hear that. This is not what this video was about, obviously, but I still wanted to jump on here and just tell you guys how I was feeling after this date. It was empowering for me. And this is something I'm definitely gonna do more often. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to drive home. And well, first I'm gonna go get my baby. <laughs> and then I'm gonna drive home. And yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.